Welcome back to the channel guys, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Mortlock, this is Captain's Vlog. We are going to be bunkering uh, today, not too much, we just want to press the tank. We're going to be bunkering around 10,000 litres of, of diesel. We, ha we hold a total of 35,000 litres. And between myself and Slavin, the chief engineer, we're going to talk you guys through the process of how we refuel a super yacht. So let's go through the checklist first we have to do before we start bankering fuel. Morning Slav. Good morning gentlemen, good morning. <laughs> so first for fear to closing this deck scuppers. Yes. We will fill up this uh, plastic uh, zip bag with the water. So what we're doing, what Slava means, what we're doing is part of the process. We've got the checklist here for, for bunkering of fuel. Um, we've got the no smoking signs ready, or no non-smoking signs ready, which will be hoisted in the refueling area. He's now, what he's gonna do, he's gonna block all the scuppers in case there is a spillage on deck. Okay. It doesn't go into the scuppers and overboard. Otherwise we're causing a huge um, a spillage problem and polluting the marine environment, which is the last thing that we wanna do. Captain, 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 Baba Baba. We, Baba, go ahead. Um, I'm going to uh, give the captain David for information. The Bravo flag is on my desk. Merci beaucoup. So you're filling up. And I just filled out the bags, that was Barbara just informing me that she has the Bravo flag ready. Now the Bravo flag, basically you hoist it, so all vessels must hoist it when they are either discharging, taking or carrying dangerous goods. And it's to inform other vessels and people in the vicinity uh, of, your, of your actions and what you're actually doing. So we're going to go through the entire process of getting the boat ready before taking the fuel ho hose. We're using cam locks to lock the fuel hose to the vessel and then we will be in constant communication with the fuel supplier who is putting the who's providing the the fuel onto the vessel and we're monitoring the fuel rate of liters per hour so slab in general what's uh, just for the viewers how many liters per hour do we normally bunker uh, i mean per minute correction per minute on this boat it's around 300 liters per minute no. But on other boat, also this uh, is depends of the system and uh, how it's big pipes. Yeah. The maximum it's 400 liters per minute. 400 liters per minute. Yeah. So 250, it's something normal, and uh, three 300 it's maximum. Yeah. So, so today today's bunkering then should take around if we're doing 300 a minute. And we're doing 10,000 liters, it's gonna be what, three, 30 around, minutes, around, around more or less 30, hour, 40, 40 minutes. 45 minutes yeah. with uh, connections, with uh, connect, disconnect, start, stop, and uh, everything. So yeah. this is uh, the plastic bags for uh, scuppers. This is the checklist we've got to go through. Yes. That's the bag for the scuppers. Plastic bag. Uh, sign for... Signage, yeah. And non-smoking area. And also we're recording in uh, the oil, oil record, record book. So any transfers of fuel or oils or lubricants on board must be recorded on the oil record book. And at the end of each page, when it's completed, me as the master, I must sign the end of each page. And this is kept um, here in the engine room for any kind of movements uh, with transferring of oil, so, discharging so of oil ashore to the, the so correct facilities. I took this with me. And now we're and gonna now block we, the scuppers. And now we go up. And then we're gonna go up. Okay. So here we have the Bravo flag, which is a totally red flag. This will be hoisted now onto the radar mast. As previously mentioned, it's to allow other vessels and um, uh, people in the vicinity to know that we are either discharging, taking, or carrying dangerous goods. And at night, what we then do of bunkering fuel at night, we will then put on all round one all round red light because obviously you can't see the see. So you can see there we now have the Bravo flag which is being hoisted up on the radar mast. And now now we're gonna continue going through the pre-bunkering checklist uh, just to show you guys how it's all done. So, so what are these to tell the viewers what these are, Slav? It's one, one second. So this is oil absorber patch. Oil absorbers, yeah. Uh, fire extinguisher foam. 
Foam fire extinguisher on standby. Standby foam. In case of uh, any fire or something, we can only with foam stop it, the fire. Yes. And also in case of the leak or oil spill or something, if the bags no not keep it, we have additional small the snakes. Yeah. Right, you can put boots. around and to, to stop it uh, to contain oil, to contain the uh, oil on the on the one place. It's used as a foam extinguisher, as Slavin was saying. In here we've got snakes, got the oil absorbers, the scuppers are blocked. Yeah. And one more plastic. Bravo flag is hoisted. Yeah. And then we'll continue the checklist. Yeah, so this is the And this is where come lock where it's coming uh so the cam lock will undo this under this the lid will come off then i'll connect the cam lock and then we'll slowly slowly start um bunkering fuel okay so now the checklist checklist connection time nothing your start time nothing counter time no we are in 31st of may 2019 port antibes so we go officer on watch and master the phone yes, yes. Bravo flag. Yes. yes. State of weather and earth. Yes. 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 Vessel mooring and arrangement yes. satisfactory. Yep. yep. We're tied up nicely and safely. Hot water, hot work stop it. Permission for work. Yes. yes. No hot no, work no happening hot. on board. So yes. Soap it clean up materials. So yes. yes. Those are the snakes there. Yep. And absorbent pads. Plug all overboard deck drains. Yep. All the overboards have been plugged. Yes. Inspect operation fitting onto bunker connections. We're That's still waiting for that still one. Waiting hose and connections. Still, still waiting. waiting. Bunker station oil fill pipes. Still waiting. Still waiting. Uh, I need one, one, one blanket. So no smoking signs have been posted up, and then above obviously the actual bunkering point as well. And then there'll always be somebody standing here with the hose on standby in case any leaks or any spillages or any problems, emergencies are shut off because there'll be a shut off valve here on the hose when it's connected and there'll be another shut off valve um, directly onto the supply truck as well. Now we'll have to remove the cam lock. Just That's just access just now to the starboard side fuel tank just and he's just testing to make sure the connection is going to work before we connect the actual fuel hose. And to me, that looks, from here, it looks good. What do you reckon, Slav? Yes. Okay. So. so what Slav is doing now, he's putting cable ties around the cam lock, actual lock units. But they so need to put uh, through, through the, the ring. ring. So it, it's not, it doesn't get unlocked um, by a mistake and then we've got a ton of fuel coming on we board have, the vessel. We have, we have on these rings, we have these uh, pins. Yep. Caution. Yeah. Back, close. Close. Back, open. open. Okay. So I go down in engine room and to open port and starboard. Uh, they will Main tanks. Tank. Yeah. Then, when everything ready, I will inform my captain and just push in and put on 90 degrees so slowly just what push. what rates do you want to rate, start with rate we go for low 50 60 liters okay then slowly increase if everything okay the only increase it is possible from the truck not, not from the from the pipe yeah pipe must be full open yeah 10,000 okay opening up So guys, 
guys, we're gonna be here for about bunkering for about half an hour, 40 minutes. So um, what I'll do, uh, pretty much, we're gonna be on standby here watching. Slammer is gonna be now, because we're refueling on the starboard tank, he'll start transferring fuel onto the port tank just to keep the stability of the vessel, preventing it from having any kind of mist. And um, then we'll be disconnecting the hose, doing the entry into the fuel the oil record book, and uh, disconnecting um, from the truck. So guys, just to put it in perspective, so you understand the amount of fuel that you carry on board. This fuel truck carries 13,000 litres of fuel, 13,000, and AWOL can take 35,000 litres. So we could bunk, we would need almost three of these to fill up the tanks from empty to full. To full. So it gives you a bit more of a, an idea of the size of the fuel tank that we do carry on board. Right, so we just finished bunkering. Uh, we closed now the valve here for, from our side. The pump's off from the from the truck. Now he's gonna do the paperwork. Slava's gonna finish off all his um, checklists. And uh, now he's gonna cut the cable ties for the cam locks. Okay. Link stop. No, not one drip. Good. And then we can take off the... Make sure there's no drip there. No, no fluids no. at all. Thank nice you. and clean. So we want. And there we have it. Gonna give him his tool back. Place. In place. So we can put it. The cap back on. Okay, so now that you've disconnected the hose, you need to do yeah, bunker stop, bunker disconnect. At zero nine thirty, and we have here line valves closed. We go down and we can closed, and the other you can just just close by remaining. Yeah. This is done. Yeah, done. Bunk and connection cover fillet. This is done. Yeah. Okay, we need to take down the signage. Clean up gear set signs. Yeah, so, we'll do yeah, that now. We do it now. Obtain certificate. So, okay, drip the sample seal, label it. And so here's the, here we go. Here's the drip sample. So guys, we're just going to clear up now, paving away. It's all been done. We've got the fuel sample. Um, Slavin's going to now put it into the uh, oil record book, all the information. And um, I hope you enjoyed that video. But as always, guys, please do subscribe. Please click that like button. And I hope you learned something today on how we bunker or how we refuel a super yacht. And I look forward to seeing you guys next video.